Hey guys, Cool Blood, right back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. Hunter. Hunter is back. Thank God. Uh, I'm so excited for this. Why? What's uh, happened? Because what happened last time? Uh, in the last ten seconds, an eternity happened, Aaron. A monster was seen as a man. A man was seen as a monster. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the way I like. Like an episode taking ten seconds and showing so much yeah. of what's happening. But yes, like along with Naruto, you like progressing. that as well. You guys really need to watch the original Dragon Ball Z. Oh. It does this too, and it's it's great. Yeah, yeah. but it's great. Does it? It's great. It's great. It's great. Great. You guys are arguing, saying the same word. That's how great it is. <laughs> you're like, it's great, and you're like, no, but it's great. He's like, that's no, what he I wasn't said. saying great, great enough. Um, so yes, uh, the king is taking a moment out of respect. To have his uh, his friend healed and move the fight to somewhere she just else. Just activated her nin too. Yeah, her life was just beginning. Well, hopefully that helps her recover. Begun. That's true. Maybe that's why they had her do it. Struck down. Yeah. In the prime of life. I'm gonna miss her. I don't know if she's dead. Nefertito can fix her. Uh, she might bring her back in a way that the king is not pleased with. If, if she like brings her back the same way that Kite got brought back as just like a training dummy and she can't make any new like tactics or anything like that, then the king will be like very unhappy. She, she comes she back and she's a worthless gungi player? Yeah. What's going to happen to her like, family? She just, she's the breadwinner. She just follows patterns now. She wasn't like hesitant uh, at all though. Maybe the king will huh? bless them She wasn't with... like, but sire, I can't do this. Uh, <clears throat> based on his mood, if she had said, but... I mean, she was crying. Uh, she was. was. Was that out of like uh, reverence to like the king holding someone? Uh, even even herself being like, you know, like I need you to do this. You know, that could be something that's very important to her. Yeah, maybe. I let her. It was fear. Like when you know your dad is so angry mm. that you you fuck something up. Yeah, and like he tells you to do something, you just do it without question. Yeah. She, so you don't get like spanked. Yeah, and then you throw a log through the window. Well, no, that's that's why he's so angry. <laughs> 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 they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that happened to me. He kicked my ass. Literally. Can we just watch the next one now? The way they they animate and, and art direct goon is so interesting, cause like he really feels like he's about to become, like, a monster. Like, the way they, in that last shot. Like, yeah, the eyes, we've noticed that, but like even the then. the way the dark outlines yeah. were starting to, like, stretch away, like. Yeah, he's like a dark figure on the horizon, which, generally, that's your villain. I don't it's know. It's like the art that you did for my character in, in D&D. It is. It's like he turns from a kid into guts from Berserk. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even with the splash page. Art, <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Killua got that too with yeah. his awesome yo-yo attack. Oh, that yo-yo yeah. attack was so Dude, good. Not only did he like take out their heads, he then was like, you know what? Another hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like, ha, got him. Turn around, and go back. He's like, now nah, one more. Yeah. Well, narrator said like he took out their abilities, and also their their like ability to fight. So like apparently those bugs could fight without their heads. Maybe I don't know. I, I, think like, I know some bugs if you cut off their head like. Their thorax is still in control of their arms and stuff. They I think still... it's the Hunter Hunter equivalent of a double tap. Yeah. Well, they, they also, sure. even in that split second, they were able to signal uh, those two doors to open at the same time, right? Yep. Yeah, but they sent the signal beforehand, though, right? Yeah. yeah. She too probably when the is probably a up. problem. I don't know about the lobster guy. I mean, Oyster. if a Congo can make them believe that it's actually a flutter, it might not be a problem. Yeah. If Only the wolf guy knows that there was like that. Only uh, Welfin, uh, Welfin yeah. suspects. Yeah. Welfin. So far. Because of the timing, so. Because I don't know. Like, Gokogo seemed to do pretty well when he had his gun. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have any weapons right now. And no. Flutter's not exactly a combat specialist. And that wasn't his gun. That was the body he was in, right? I think it was. Was it his gun? It was his gun before all of his limbs got cut off. Because he was using the... The bulb of his head to like yeah. shoot the fleas, right? I know he was in a body. Like he was at taking that point. a deep breath and shooting it out like an orifice. I can't remember if that was actually him or if it was just the body he was inhabiting at that point. 
What ever happened to the koala bear? Yeah, I don't know. He, he didn't never, die, did he, or anything? No. no. He's never still, come back that I know of. It's a very long arc. <laughs> because even if we succeed here, we have a lot of ants to take care of. Maybe he'll be, like, the the, the, the next arc. The true like, baddie. Yeah. Like the king dies, but, like, the real king is inside that king, and it's <laughs> the koala. <laughs> I was curious, because, like, a lot, especially a lot of the other ones that they showed, like, they had, like, they kind of showcased him mm-hmm. a little bit, but, like, the spider, and, you know, like, yeah. we had, uh... The rabbit. Yeah. The we had, owl. We had them yeah. dealt with. The we lip. had the, uh, um... Oh, shoot. Phantom Troop dealing with another group, you know, mm-hmm. like... We saw lots of the ants kind of being killed, and then the ones that came to the king, we still have some of them, you know? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. We saw what happened to Leo and where Chitu is now, and Flutter, and that one girl with belly. Yeah. So the Kago says to Killua, you owe me one. Yeah, I didn't know why. Is it, like, because Killua, for that split second, doubted that the Kago could handle himself or could take care of it? Or is Okago now, you owe me one because of me... Our plan is now behind schedule because of what you chose for me. I don't know, something like that. I think I the only thing I can think of is he said it because he knew that saying it would put Killua back in the game. And that's why he owes him. Because Killua's mind is back in the game. It's the only thing I can figure. Sure. Is so he you owes say him. you owe me one so that then his mind gets back in the game. Thus he's helped him. Thus now he owes him one. Exactly. Or... It's uh, Leol in disguise. Somehow. I was gonna say, like, what if it's what if it's Leol's ability? <laughs> because he's the only one that that would matter, right? It, it, it didn't work because you have to affirm it. True. Right, you have to say yes, or they have to agree to it. Yeah, yeah. The you owe me one thing was weird. I don't, I don't know. know. To that. me, it was just that you know that uh, Killua, in his moment of hesitation and going to help his friend which was not part of the plan, now makes a cargo almost like a, almost a weak link. Like, oh, yeah, not part of the plan because you doubted that I could take care of myself or be okay here. Now you owe me one. You know? Maybe. That's all I can think of. Yeah, but I don't know. Him doing that, I feel like, was him doing something for him. Yeah, but, that's not like, part, but it wasn't part of the plan, especially with Killua being like, do not get distracted from this plan. He told it to everybody, and then he's the one that gets distracted from the plan. You know? It's like, hey, you know that thing that you keep saying it forever and ever and ever and ever to all of us? Condescendingly? You did it. You owe me one. Oh, that didn't make sense. I don't know. It doesn't... Or maybe it's something that we can cut back to with more context later. Yeah. Like, I feel like because they pushed it so strongly with, with Leo. And it didn't seem to have any of the context. I feel like it has something to do with that, but I can't imagine what it is. Oh, if that works, I'm going to start, like, Eric's going to do something nice for me. I'm like, all right, thanks, Eric. You owe me one. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> they say, like, Nin intensifies after death, and Flutter, he had that connection after, at the time of Leo's death, right? Flutter didn't. Well, Leo had been using Flutter's stuff, and I don't think the time period for that was up yet. Well, he used a different power uh, by the time he had died. Did yeah. that cancel the other one? Or he can't use them at the same time. He can only use one at a time. He can only use one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Did they say that? Then I have no idea. I yeah. thought he could use... He can't use more than one at a time. Only one at a time. I, I was asking, did they say that? Yeah. Or are you assuming Yes. That? No, that we, can only we, use yeah, one we got at a time. It was said in the stipulations of what his rulings were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I love that. Otherwise, that's a really powerful move. Of like, oh well, fuck! I'll just, I'll get owed this, 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 this. Use all those powers at once. Yeah. You know, like it's Peter yeah. Petrelli season one versus Peter Petrelli season three. Yeah, like he should have just like, while he was drowning, he should have just <laughs> pulled out another power and used it. Yeah. You know, and got out of there. So he can only use one power at a time. Mm-hmm. Regardless of my assumptions, they also said it. But even if somewhere the, there was still, he had that power. Like, I don't know what that would mean. I, I don't think Flutter's dead body would then have Lero's actual power, not, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I think that would be a stretch that there would be, like, something that was happening there. So then, at that point, like, if that were true, that just means that the uh, Flutter Akago would, what, be able to shoot lightning? Yeah, I mean, he'd be able to take his ability. 
yeah. that he knew of from him. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. Cause he know, does he know what it's called? I don't know what it's called. I mean, it's called an electric judgment. He used abilities in the fight against Akago himself. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which ones he used, but he will at least know those ones. Yeah. Um, I don't think that he's gonna get Leo's power. No, I, I don't think so either. I think he's too disconnected. I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm curious though. Why. Were they saying that he has the eyes from the dragon flies? That's why he could dodge the dragon. Yeah. Or was they just saying that he can use his since, eyes? Since since he can use the body parts that he's inhabiting, he can see through. Yeah. The dragonfly's eyes and dodge. Yeah. Because he all... knows like where he's running to, basically. Okay. On, like, so he's not saying that he has the dragonflies. No. Like imagine okay. like. But I don't think he can see through, like, literal dragonflies that are flying around like. Like Flutter could, but I think it's like does. wearing a mask that's covering your eyes, but the mask also has eyes. You can use those eyes. Yeah, that's how it is. Like I think, I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. He is not seeing. Like he appears to have like two human-like eyes, whereas Flutter has bug eyes. So I think he can use the dead doll's power to have the perception that Flutter would have of the world. Yeah, agreed. He, he is. How he, he is Flutter's did. brain in there. Yeah. I don't know how much he could... I don't think he could use Flutter's ability. No, I don't think he can use Flutter's But identity. effectively, he is the one in control of, of that body. He's like puppeteering it, almost. He's wearing the skin suit. I'm just wondering... It's like Dimple. Yeah. The, the, I guess for me, like the statement of that is just a weird one. Except Dimple could use... And I'm not sure if it's like a <sighs> translation thing or whatnot, but like I would assume, with him being inside the body, him moving the legs and all that kind of stuff, that yeah. he's just in control of that body can use it. But it made me think that either A, he had the power of the dragonflies, or B, well, if they're saying, well, he has a vision through the eyeballs, mm -hmm. is there something in the body he doesn't have? Like, is he not able to really fight in that? But he he fought in the one dude's body, right? Yeah. I think. He like, did. He was like a... He fought a bit. But he was also, like, in the arm of the gun or whatever. Yeah. He like was, like, weird. attached to his back, and he was using, like, his air bladder to shoot the fleas. Yeah. So but also, like, when he was attacked, he detached himself from the dead weight, and he was flying around as an octopus. But, like, whenever they said it, they didn't say it as, like, he has full control of the body, thus could dodge the dive. They just stipulated on the eyes specifically. They just mean that he and can just, see to be able to dodge. Sure. Probably because Which that's I guess was my assumption. You the know? compound. Like, no, I don't think it's an assumption. It's just what they said. My assumption was that him being in the body gives him full control of the body. Mm -hmm. Thus, he can see, move, and do all that. It just felt weird to me for them to stipulate the eyes specifically. Sure. Whereas, like, my assumption already, yeah. before them saying anything, was that he had control of the body as a whole and could see and all that. Anyway, I would have... You know? I, 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 I get what you mean. Maybe they're covering someone else's assumption could just be that he's literally just... Inside the body with his tentacles going up and down the legs and stuff, and literally and just blind moving in there. it, and but he can't fucking see because I didn't make any eye holes. Yeah, because and they're like, saying that if that's your assumption, he also can see using the yeah. eyes. I just don't know why they don't say like why only the eyes. Because like like a Congo's brain would have no way to process the visual stimuli that's coming from Flutter, right? So like there has to be an additional connection to the brain that might not be obvious. Yeah. Sure. But, like, is there pain? Can he control all the arms? Is the arms not able to be moved? Can he only move the feet? Why the eyes specifically? Like, that, that, that was my thing. Like, mm -hmm. my assumption is that he his power just takes over this body. He's able to control it and use it and see and whatnot. But I didn't think he was blind because he's running down the street. You know, like, I was At just first, I thought he was just inside of the body and literally just like a hand puppet with your hand shoved up a... a yeah. I just wonder if there's, like, a... Fast. Like, he could just move it around yeah. and, and make it go where he wanted to. But if yeah. you're doing that but, and you're under the table, you can't see what the puppet sees. But you sees. can't sure. see what the puppet yeah. sees. I just yeah. wonder if there's, like, because of them saying it this way, is there some stuff that he can't do or that he can't... Yeah. Like, is there, is there some hindrance? The like, only, uh, probably because they're specifying that that's the amount of control he has. They're probably limiting that there isn't any additional control that he has over Flutter's body. Like, he can't actually see... Like through Dragonfly's eyes, like sure. Flutter did, because that was his net ability. He probably can't um, receive the uh, the hive mind communications through Flutter's brain because they were like addressed yeah. directly to him. Like he I talks, assume, does the mouth move. 
My, is, will the arms move? My, my assumptions of it are that, like, he can stimulate that body normally. He couldn't, like, do their ability or anything. But let's say he's, like, inside yeah. a crocodile. He could stimulate that crocodile's muscles to have the crocodile's pressure strength of a bite. Not just be, like, you know, like, with tentacles, you know? Like, I imagine he could do that if he can see out their eyes, you know? But he probably can't. Like, if that crocodile also can fucking, you know, shoot lasers out of its navel because of its quirk, then he probably can't do that. He doesn't have control of their uh, nin ability. Is what I would... I don't know. There's a lot of assumptions in that's, that two seconds. That's what makes sense uh, yeah. to me. Yeah. But also, this could be another scene where we flash back to later with more context. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we saw him before in another body. And yeah. in that other body, I assumed he had complete vision. When he was talking, that guy was talking. At least I think it it's was... A I think it was Ikalgo talking and not that guy talking. Because I'm pretty sure that guy body was dead, too. I think. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you, that body was dead. Like, I think yeah. it was, but was it used in that body's vocal cords? I, I mean, it was a different voice. It was a different voice. So, like, it was, yeah. it was a different voice. He was, like, in the <clears throat> arm, not, like, the brain area, mm-hmm. it seemed like. Like, I don't know. I'm just... And is the power base, was that all him? Or was that a mixture of what that guy could do as well? Because yep. he had some kind of weird gun arm thing. Mm-hmm. But it seems like he is the octopus. So where did the gun arm thing come from? Was that that guy? Or was that part of Ikalga? I, I don't know. So I was just curious. Like just, just the way they said it, I'm like, I wonder if yep. there's like a limitation or something that they're not saying that he has yet mm-hmm. because it's going to come up later on or something. Yeah, where does fleas come from? Sleeves? Fleas. 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 What, what, what? Flea bullets. Oh, yeah. There were flea bullets, yeah. So, like, there's something there that's, like, that's not very... That doesn't seem like him. Mm-hmm. He didn't have those. So is that part of another dead guy's quirk that he was able to use? Yeah. But that's why I was, like, when they said about the eyes, I'm like, oh, is that the dragonfly eyes that they're saying he can use? Yeah. Because I was already assuming he could just, like, take over this body and use it. Yeah. Like, any, like anything else, you know? Like, just, I just I'm use sure it. I'm we'll find anything, out very so. soon as he... Probably gets into a fight yeah. here at this mm-hmm. element. So it would be insane if he could climb into one of the royal guard's dead bodies and use their Nen powers as they use yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd like be, if it nice. is actually something biological. Yeah, and then kill what he helped could him. Manipulate through and created a new enemy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, not necessarily a new enemy, but a new, extremely powerful ally. <coughs> no, maybe you know? unless the power goes to his head. Well, that's the only Did, place it could is, go. His tentacles are cut off. That's all he's got. He has a few tentacles. He's like four of them, right? They're little stumpies, aren't they? Well, he has some stumps, but then he has some that are just full tentacles too. Are they? Okay. Yeah, because those are the ones he like runs on, and then he has like his little hands, but they're like little stumps, but they're shorter, like arms. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But it makes sense. Is Flutter's wings cut off? Yeah. They yeah. they look like they're pulled off. Yeah. They, they look like it too. I was just wondering when the wolf guy was like, but he came through unharmed, like because he has no wings. <laughs> I mean, we never truly saw Flutter die. We just saw Nov like look up at him and then did a teleport thing, right? Well, did a teleport was, thing. We saw his dead body in, in well, Nov's place. No, yeah. I, I get you. We just don't know like how it happened. Like, or did what they he did. take him into I his room he, and held him down and ripped, ripped off, off his wings? wings. I think the first he thing did. I would do. He was like torturing him for yeah. information and stuff. Well, we know he can use his portals to cut off body parts. Yeah. All true. So he yeah. could have cut them like, off before he put him into the room. Maybe torn. It looked jagged edge more than like a clean, mm-hmm. like Doctor Strange cut off that one guy's arm and it was like smooth. Yep. Uh, my absolute favorite moment of the entire episode was shoot standing on his own fist, realizing that this was his signature move. And that also, really like he, it was like self discovery, like and it made yeah. him look cooler and feel more powerful. Like he did it unconsciously. He just covered up an eye. I know. <laughs> In the middle of the, like, the biggest fight of his life. Kakashi, <laughs> you know. But there's something about it that was so like yeah. wrestling about it, like. It's his signature move. He just yeah. discovered it, you yeah. know. I like but it. he can actually he can he can practically fly with it. Maybe not super fast, but it doesn't seem fast. I wonder if he can use his cage on UP or if it's gonna be. I don't like... know. Well, I think it's a very bad matchup there because mm. if UP's appendages get imprisoned, then he can just make more. Yeah. It, it's crazy how all those arms he has, and then Moral comes in to swing his big pipe at him. And, and he just grows out. another one and blocks yeah. it. And I'm like, yeah. well, damn, man, how are you going to do this? That was fantastic. You got to poke out the eyeballs. But, you know, substitution jutsu gets me every time. When Moro was like, he got cut in half, I was like, nah! <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, 
I know. It gets me every time. I, I love that it was actually the weapon, too. One attack. Yeah. yeah. But then shoot, like, using his hand to get it back to Moral was great. Yeah. Knuckle there, it's like... So good. <laughs> It's only been 10 seconds, and he's only got 590 out of 700,000. Yeah. But that, that builds up more, right? Like, the it, higher it gets, it the more it accrues. So, yeah. You have a current interest. Yeah. So he's also, gonna, the more damage they do to him, that adds to it as well. Yeah. And I yeah. think the more he exerts, right? Isn't that what it is? Yeah. If he exerts, if no, oh, dang it. If he does damage to him, it takes more. Yeah. If he does damage back, it saves it. But, like, exactly. he had yeah. done a lot. He, and it he makes be. payments on the principle. Yeah, so he need, they need to make sure they don't get hit, or Knuckle yeah. needs to not get hit. Knuckle yeah. needs to not get hit. If wow. he expends it um, while borrowing uh, Nen from Knuckle, then that expends it at a greater rate. Yeah. Unless he's repaying it to Knuckle. But didn't, it seemed to Knuckle, he was shocked by how low it was. Do you think that's because, like... Maybe there's just something about UP where he's just extremely efficient at using no, his aura. I, I think he was shocked because it's only been ten seconds. And it's it like it feels so like long, it's been an eternity. Right? Oh, like yeah. like I mean, hell, it's been before. three episodes. You're like it's only been ten seconds yeah. and we've gone <laughs> okay. how long? You know that's exactly. I didn't know if that was like some kind of clue into that like you know because this is like more of a natural ability versus a nin ability. He's not using much. You yeah. know. I mean, he, he, because he was born that way yeah. and not like. It was activated later in life. He did it's it. similar to like whenever in, in My Hero Academia when they take your quirk or your quirk is not working, let's say. Like, tail guy can still use his tail despite his teacher looking at him, you know? Because that's like an inherent quirk as opposed to a uh, uh, something that you had to actively I suppose use, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. An ability. So I was just wondering, like, I wonder like if that's a, a mistake fireball. using it on him yeah. because his stuff is natural and not a nin ability, but... It makes more sense that it's just like, I thought it was longer, you know? Well, he also had this statement, too, where, like, he had hit him. He's like, man, I tried to hit him for as hard as I could. Yeah. He's like, he's only at 590. But it may have been, like, I tried to hit him as far as hard as I could, and then realizing, man, it feels like 10 seconds is an eternity. Yeah. Because it's only gone up to 590 so far. So when Shoot puts the, the, the thing over his eye, and then they, he talks about, like, you know, he realizes he excels when he's cornered or when he's... He, he, has, he has something to overcome. Is he literally handicapping himself to make himself more brave? I think so. That's what he's doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's like the last episode where he was like psychologically trapped in that, gotcha. in that like prison. That's where he felt safe. So it's like a... It's like, so he's literally like putting himself yeah. in that prison it's, physically so he can psychologically be more brave. It's crazy because he has he's missing one leg now, he's missing mm-hmm. one arm now, and he's missing one eye now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but one arm is like five hands now. I guess it's similar to like Obi Wan putting the blast shield down, and it's like yeah. your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them, you know, so that he can focus more. But here, it's be more brave. Yeah, because then, he's more disadvantaged. Yeah, and then Luke bl- blocks how many bolts? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that many. <laughs> <laughs> That's four, right? Three. I think three. it's three. Three. I thought he did block, one. Block, block. Don't get. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought he did one. Or yeah, something like that. I think it's, it's like, one and then do, one, do, two. Do. The last. We will cover it later. Uh, so, is Poof's uh, ability going to affect Moral? Oh, I'm so nervous. Mm. That's probably the one I'm most. I, I expect other people to die elsewhere, but I don't want Moral to die. I like him is so much. Is spiritual message the one that takes over their minds? I think so. Yeah. Is that That's the one he used one? on the crowd. Yeah. Because they did it, and it's a spiritual message, but then didn't explain what it was. I'm like, oh, is this the there, same one? He had another so. ability, didn't he? He did have another like, one as well. But he like, used spiritual message before. Ah, uh, what was it? Spirit, spirit echoes. Hearing dead thoughts of another? No, that's nope. that's based on yeah. the Netero stuff. You're yeah, looking back at, like, probably 109 yeah, or so. Shoot. Maybe 108. I don't think it's going to work on moral. He's like weak God's minded. dream or something like that, where he could, like... Mm-hmm. Moral's not a weak-minded fool. I, don't, I, I think that he has prepared for... <laughs> but is that how it works? That is, is this like a Jedi mind trick? No, not necessarily. I think that with the crowd, the way that it was going, there was a lot of stimulation that could, and you could bypass consciousness that way. Moral, I think, is focused and wasn't going to allow himself to be in that state. But he's at 30%. I think there That's okay. was... His mind's at 100. I think there was something about, like, with all of this, this, and this, yeah. it's easier to control. You're more susceptible whenever, like, you've already 
committed yourself to well, a line they or were to exhausted. a march. They, they were exhausted, also exhausted for how long of yeah. walking. That was yeah. one of the things. Like they were just more susceptible. Barraged but... with with audio mm -hmm. orders, and like repeating and stuff like that. They were like worn down. They were tired. They were listening so, to this. While Moral is tired and he is lower on his nin right now. He's still hopefully focused enough and strong enough not to just be like. He, I mean, right. other than Gone, who I feel like does stuff off pure instinct, Moral is the best decision maker I've seen in the show. Here's the thing, though: if uh, Poof defeats Moral, yeah. with the idea that Nin can enhance after death, mm -hmm. does that push the jail harder? And now Poof is just stuck in there with dead Moral, trying to get out. Still, Moral still achieves what he needs to achieve. Or did Moral create the prison and put a smoke version of himself inside and he's just outside waiting for Netero and, and what's his name? He's just outside to, waiting? Yeah. That, that would be great. Because as long as he's not trying to get out, as long as he's trying to fight the, the smoke version of himself. Yeah, he's like, he's really beating the shit out of smoke me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Shai, Shai Poof? What's Shai his Poof? name? Shai Poof. Shai Poof. He had a very long monologue where he was upset with himself in this episode. Yeah. yeah. He has a long monologue every episode where he's <laughs> upset with himself. Yeah. I wrote down, Poof losing it. <laughs> he's definitely losing it in there. <laughs> like, he was in jail before he was in jail. Yeah. And then he... Yeah, he was, like, very polite. It's like, can you please remove... Can you please open jail? this? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, so, I can't do that. So Poof, when he was spiraling, too, like, he was, like... In his, in his mind, he knew where the king was going to be, but he still went to where he should have been. Is that the idea there? That he, he was went saying? to where his ideal of the king would be. Like where the king should be. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. he knew, like, like in, he his, knew, heart, in his heart of hearts. It must, Almost trying to punish a, a king that is doing less than he should. Yeah. But then making himself less of a royal guard because... Yeah. Because the king wasn't living up to his ideal of what the king should be. Mm -hmm. But he should he know... He was following what the ideal of the king should be. And thus, he wasn't serving the king, the real king, yeah. how he should have been, yeah. as an ideal servant. Like he thinks thus the king is not the like ideal this. servant. But since the king, he knows the king would do this, he should have went there. Yeah. Thus, he's a, less of a royal guard. Like it's not my favorite part of the episode, like that. But I can't wait to him to vent to Moral about it because I can't wait to Moral to respond. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that blows, <laughs> man. <laughs> Real hard life. <laughs> I like. Uh, I like when he was talking yeah, about. So <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I like when he was talking about like, let's go get drinks, get wasted. I really want to give you a hug. It's the only way I know how to do it. That's so <laughs> great. He wants like, to give those boys a hug, but get them they would never do hug. it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we need to drown ourselves and drink because that's the only way I know how you'd let me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that means the target on his back is even bigger. Yeah, target on all of them. I know. Like, what if he survives and both of his students yeah. perish? I love Netero too. Just like <coughs> she's we, in there. We haven't lost anyone yet. I still and think, shut the fuck up. I still think we're going to. We're, no, we're yeah. going to. We're Maybe at going. the minute mark. I'm just not sure who it's going to be. Could it be Netero? Shoot's the most. Zeno. Shoot. I mean, shoot is wounded already, but does that mean he's less likely now because he's already wounded? Yeah, I don't know. If is I, it going to be Knuckle? I think Melor Mel Meloron. Meloron. I think he will die. Hmm. I think if it's. If I had to pick one that I absolutely know will die, it's probably Moral. Mm. Out of everyone. I think he's probably the most likely. It's just because of how successful he's been. What if Killua dies? I don't think Killua's going to die. Is that possible? Is he too plot armory? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying... I don't know. The, the show definitely surprises me a lot, but I would probably say... That's, he's like, he, him and Gon are the least likely to die. I would think so, too. I would put him at, like, minus, uh, or under 10% chance they would die. It's, it's interesting, they're kind of flipping them in this, like, yeah. arc a bit. Because, like, you have Killua, who's choosing to help Ikago, mm -hmm. and going against what he normally would do. I know. Whereas Gon is, like, more Killua-ish, yeah. with, like, dead eyes of my task, mm -hmm. assassinating somebody yeah. kind of thing. So, so I mean, that's... Friends, they're, they're mimicking. Which is like, why... Gon like, has changed him. And yeah. Despite his brother trying to keep him the same way, literally pinning him in place, you know, Gon has changed him. It's part of why I think, like, could there be a possibility of Killua dying with, like, a change in who he is mm -hmm. and trying to, like, protect Gon and not going for the task? Where, like, he was set to run away, right? If something's too dangerous or too scary, you run, you live to fight another day. Yeah. But since that's been removed, now he has friendship and stuff, too, mm -hmm. is more Gon-like. 
yeah. at least stand in place to help his buddy and maybe die in the process. Like, I don't think Gon's going to die because I think we need to finish the gene stuff. Agreed. Right? But I, I can see Gon being a little more Killua. Yeah. And could, <laughs> but could that push him more Killua-ish if Killua died? Maybe. Not necessarily that I want that because I like Killua and Gon together. I think it's a yeah. great chemistry between the two. I also just want our... I want the four, you know, people that started out together back at one point as well. If we get that. Yeah. Leorio and... and uh, Karapika. Karapika. Like fighting back to back. Just seeing them meet again would be great. I guess. Especially because our characters here, they've made such great progress. There's a part of me that's like, when we see them, we're going to be shocked at their progress, too. You know? Well, we were shocked the last time with Karapika. Karapika. No, no, no. We were shocked with him, but Leorio was just like, let me read these books and become a doctor. That's the whatever. perfect setup. <laughs> and then you meet him again. He's like, hey, what are you doing? And he's, he's, carrying, a a, he's, and he's carrying a gut scalpel or something. Gut scalpel? <laughs> I think Zeno's gonna die. Zeno, that's possible. So, yeah, yeah. I would put like you think Nero's moral, gonna die? like yeah. He maybe. could. I like, don't know. Like they gave us his backstory. Do they defeat Ooh. the king? You know what? I I think that Netero is almost a certainty because they did set up that like stuff going on in the Hunter Association. He's the chairman, so if he's the, if he dies, there's gonna be like this kind of. Back power struggle. Back, like, why introduce that at all if you're not going to do that, you know? So, so that's kind of... Well, it's also so he either retires or he dies. Well, I feel like what's going to happen is he's going to become, like, very wounded. Mm -hmm. Like, he's going to win, but he's going to yeah. be in bad shape. And then yeah. that vice president will assassinate him. The vice chairman. That'd be a damn shame. Or your P2 heals him. I Makes him young again. I don't know if that would happen. But... Hmm. You know what I was going to say? Uh, is there any... Turning for any of the bad guys, or they all die. Well, I mean, like, we've we already had Colt, so many, right? Yeah, like Colt was one where it's like, oh man, he's bad. What's he doing? Well, I mean, out. Akago, uh, Cole, um, the the chameleon guy. Like, yeah, yeah there's definitely potential. <clears throat> not the royal guards, I don't think. It's shown that, but maybe the king. It's know. shown that you know they're not all bad, right? Like, True. they're just ants are just they're confused with their natures and stuff, and they're not necessarily just bad entities. But could the yeah. king turn around, especially with like? Uh, Kamugi, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I think I think so. I mean, one of the best parts of last episode was Zeno and Netero. Like when they gave them that chance to mourn or to 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 be upset that their friend is hurt. Like, you know, uh, Zeno says like, "Hey, this is what I signed up for. Like, I'm here to kill a monster, not this." You know, I, I loved that moment. Because it does give that feeling of, like, this is not as simple as it should be. This is vastly more complicated. Sure. And uh, they, they even said, like, you know, they need to make sure they keep their justification for doing this. Yeah. Because like, why do we need to kill them? Yeah. And I think that's very important. I think that's going to flip everything on its head as, it, as we continue. And something else that might have bothered Zeno, too, is maybe he didn't know that there was another human in here. Yeah. Like, he just killed that girl. Yeah. Who was innocent. Mm-hmm. That could have been part of, like, I, you know, this wasn't part of the deal. Sure. See, the initial way that I took that from Zeno was that he was there to kill a guy, not to stand there and wait. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was my initial really? take. That was my initial take, uh, take of um, it too. Like, hey, I'm an assassin. I'm here to kill this guy. What are we doing? And, that, and then yeah. it was like, hang we're, on. just We're wait. letting a perfectly good Let opportunity go. slide. That was my initial thought of it. How, you know, what are, we, what are we doing here? But with the way that Hunter Hunter's been before, like, is there a way that they've been building up and building up Netero and the King fighting in this crazy battle that's going to be coming? Yeah. And then they just turn things, make amends. He's against the Royal Guards and the Ideals. Do you think instead of a fight? And there's no fight at all. <laughs> We're like, son of a bitch! They <laughs> decided over uh, Gunji. Gungi? Gungi. The maybe. Uh, Netero's like, oh, I've played this a time or two myself. And it turns out, backstory, he played it for 15 years on a mountain one time. <laughs> as, as, a, as a prayer? Yeah. Don't keep prayer. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to this episode of Hunter Hunter. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss other reactions. Also, check out blindwave.net, where we have some merchandise that might be related. Might not. It's impossible to say. Go this is me as a strong girl. <laughs>